And I first joined the Nine of Four Mike Sierra, yeah. contact around 121 Death uh, one two one six giant nine four Mike Sierra. Thank you. Right, good. He said that we may have revisions to our slot, but I've not had anything there. So yeah, this is a good time to start the APU up and get ready to go. Don't feel ignored. Yeah, I didn't know if it had gone through. I was like, did he hear that? Or all good. Right, so we're waiting for the APU gen lights to come on now. I'm a freaking wizard. And then the parking brake sets. We're going to get rid of all our ground connections. We can start up on stand. We can start up on stand today. Right then. So I should be on that frequency now. One, two, one decimal six. Yep. Yeah. And uh, let's go and pressurize and get ready to go and stuff. And then we can call for clearance pretty much straight away, can't we? So we are going to go... Uh, what's the best way of doing this? Let's do AUX. Wait for the system fault light. Auto, auto, and AUX. Yeah, frame rate's bad because of all the traffic. It should clear up once we're in the air. All of these are going on. Beacon light can go to both. Packs I'm going to leave there at the moment. We'll turn them off for engine start. Um, and that should be that, and then we'll go and do the before start checklist in a momento. Codex 154, is there no problem? Uh, are you ready for taxi? Right, before start checklist then. So, passenger signs are on MCP 175, 193 for the heading, 7000 for the altitude. Why are you not going to work for me? There we go. Takeoff speeds 152 V1, VR 164, 175 for the V2. CDU pre flight has been completed. Trim. Uh, from uh, I can set 7.3. Uh, I'll do that after mic. engine start. Uh, and everything else I've not touched, so zero, zero and zero. Taxi and takeoff briefing I've done. We're going to go right on uniform and then right so on November, I think it is, for one nine a right. Really short taxi for us today. Uh, and we're on the EVTOG 7 Delta departure. Um, with the initial climb again, 7,000. Beacon lights on, that's our before start checklist completed. Ground, a very good morning, Giant 9 of 4, Mike Sierra on the military apron. We're fully ready for engine start. Giant 9 of 4, Mike Sierra, good afternoon. Uh, startup approved, crash 1009. <laughs> startup approved on 1009, uh, Giant 9 of 4, Mike Sierra. Okay, let's do this thing then. So, packs off. Across the pond is officially underway with engine start. In goes the fuel. We'll start three and four at the same time and confirm the auto start is on the lower ICAS display. And then I think we've got to go to this view for engine start really here, don't we? Why am I at the military ramp? Because we're pretending we're doing an Atlas Air military charter today, which does happen. Atlas Air do, do military charters. At least they do for the US military. So we're pretending that they do here because, yeah. Oh, thank you very much, Mama Chu. Uh, I, I can't take that. Can you, a moment? can you pop it there? Uh, thank you, Mama Chu. Short on How many Jeeps are you taking today, Mel? Destroy the hangars with the engines. It's fine. I'll be a very light taxi. You know, the 9098. Hello, taxi pass on November 1 and right. I'm going to turn ATC volume down a bit. Taxi, by a pass on November 1 and right. You know, it's 9098. See the immersion effects? This is from the old prop 747 immersion package. And that was start to cut out with the green running text on three and four. So, one and two then. Fuel straight away, auto start illuminated on those. It looks awesome, doesn't it? My slot time's in two minutes, so we are doing really well. Listen to that bass.
You're going to do cross the pond, but the opposite way round. Controllers will hate you. Don't be that guy. Good day, Ricodia. Hello, welcome back. So with these um, 747 immersion effects from old prop, when old prop released, say, for example, the 777 immersion pack, they did that for the 32-bit system of P3D V3. And that limited them to only 99 effects entries. The 747 immersion package was built for 64-bit P3D V4 and has got over 1,100 individual effects entries. So that's why the immersion package on the 747 is so far superior to everything else. It's ridiculous. It's got over a thousand more entries. Right, running on one and two. So after start procedure, APU off. Hydraulics both to auto. Wait for the pressure lights. Make sure that's good. Packs can go back on now. And then we will do status flaps, which today is 20 for departure. So that's the fourth slot down. And then recall, which should be the TCAS. Oh, there's the Lufthansa cargo. He's pushed back. Yes, Zetanist, I believe so. Yeah, I believe that should be the case. Hopefully so, anyway. Have I got flight controls on that page? Oh no, we'll have a we'll have a flight control page, won't we? Because we're in the eight, not the the seven four four. So let's set the trab stim first. Tr what was that? Tab trim? Did I just say? Stab trim all the way to seven point three, and then we'll do a flight control check. I don't seven eight seven five. I don't know. Flap twenty G's. Flap twenty is normal. United to nine zero nine eight. Contact tower one one eight. Flap twenty is a normal takeoff setting for the seven four seven. Dennis, all of my, um... Oh, wait, you're asking somebody else, I'm guessing. Yeah, t trab strim. Don't you love the tab strim? Right, flight control test is good to go. So, checklists. Before taxi checklist, anti-ice is all on auto at the moment. Recall is just the TCAS. Auto brake, RTO, flight controls you've just checked. We've not got any ground equipment, so that's clear as well. So that's our before taxi checklist completed. We are ready. Ground giant nine or four mics here on the military apron, fully ready for taxi. Giant nine four mics here at taxi. Uniform November one nine right. Yeah. Uniform November one nine right. Giant nine or four mics here. We got our taxi clearance one minute after my slot time. I.e., absolute perfect. So let's watch out for the Lufthansa cargo so we don't hit into him. Don't worry, the frames will get better once we're out the way of Oslo. It's because there's so much traffic ahead of us that the frames are struggling. So that's Moz154 in the chat there. I'm sure a lot of you recognize Moz's voice. He's currently talking to ATC there. I'm standing with like 20 FPS, yeah. I didn't change my settings or anything like that, which I maybe should have done. How to track my flight. Um, I'm not flying on Project Fly, but I'll be doing the entirety of the flight on stream today. And I'm on VATSIM, so you'll be able to try and find me on VATSIM. I guess. So we can follow our taxi here. So we're on uniform, and then we're going to take the, uh, the second right turn on to November. Yeah, they are, Dennis. They are. No traffic coming from the left-hand side, so we should be good to uh, to go straight on to November and not have to hold here. So this event today, for those of you who don't know, is an event that happens twice a year on the VATSIM network. And it's where various airports um, in Europe and North America get fully staffed, as do all of the North Atlantic tracks um, across the Atlantic Ocean. And um, so, you know, there's at the moment well over a thousand people logged into the VATSIM network and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds Giant of them. Giant 94 Mike Sierra, contact tower, run 183, small tree, ticket. Uh, 1183, Giant 94 Mike Sierra. And, uh, and they, uh, yeah, and we fly from one side of the ocean to the other, basically. 
I think this guy's got the right idea as well. He's on the GA8 put in a 777, which may sound weird, but it makes actually a lot of sense if there's a lot of traffic here. Look at my lovely centerline taxi. Tower, very good afternoon. Giant 904 Mike Sierra on November for one nine right. Giant 94 Mike Sierra, Garmin Tower, hello. Uh, continue taxi and hold short one nine right. Continue and we'll hold short one nine right. Giant 904 Mike Sierra. Lovely shaders, there we go. It takes a second for them to load in. Uh, yeah, I have a feeling this wing view is going to be used a lot today. <laughs> I could just stare at that all afternoon. I don't know about you guys. Don't worry, I'm not going to make you do that. I don't do that on my live stream. United 787 there, lined up. Kingsley, hello, baby cakes. Not too long, my dude. Uh, Countdown is on. Mike, Arnold Tower, hello. Continue to actually hold short one man, right? <laughs> oh, really, Aristo? Very nice. Lucky, lucky. Before takeoff checklist is simply flaps 20. That's the before takeoff checklist completed. And we're at Alpha 9 holding point for 19 array. Thank you, Hardik. Can you divert to EBBR? I'm sorry, I'm afraid not, Elliot. It's all good trophies. There's always one person. Try it, 94 Mike Sierra. Line up and wait till they're away one right. Line up and wait one nine right. Try it, 94 Mike Sierra. Right, alert to being muted. We're able to get on the runway, ladies and gents. So T A R A on there. Here United we go. Let's head off to Vancouver. There's that Lufthansa cargo who was parked next to us. That worked so well, that military apron. I'm so glad that that was actually helped with Smoke Hill. Smoke Hill, who's tower on the other runway on 19 left at the moment, he actually helped us out with the idea of using that military apron because we knew that nobody would be parked there because you physically can't select to stand there. So I spawned in on this runway and then slewed myself across to it before I logged onto the network. Taxi lights still on. Oh, yeah. I always do that. Bloody hell, that's bright. Well, I would say one line right is verified, but <laughs> I can't see the numbers. Okay. I'm happy. Are you all happy? Are you ready to go? Are we ready for Cross the Pond Westbound 2019? Oh, look at the effects. That looks so nice. I wonder where Mr. Lufthansa Cargo is flying. What's his call sign? 154 Mike. Oh, is that Moz? Oh, it is Moz. Everybody wave and say hi to Moz. Hi, chat. <laughs> yeah, I use vPilot, yeah. So we will wait for the magic words to go. He's probably waiting for that landing traffic that's coming on one line the left. Right, line four, Here we go. Uh, Mike Sierra, wind variable, so not to the one line right. Clear takeoff. Clear takeoff, one line right. Giant line for Mike Sierra. Cross the pond westbound 2019. Here we go. Take off. Thrust is set. Eighty knots. God, the, the runway is so bright. Barely 
really see where the centre line is. This is going to be close. Positive, right, gear up. <laughs> right, I want to look at all the traffic, but we've also got to do this. And my experience looks to my eye that you are climbing. What's your approach? 120, that's 1245, bye bye. 12045 for uh, giant uh, 94 Mike Sierra, thank you. Try and follow the flight director somewhat, shall I? <laughs> As I say that. Oslo, good afternoon. Giant 904 Mike Sierra through 1800 for 7000 on the FTOC 7 Delta. Giant 904 Mike Sierra, Super interface, Columbia 6 Loyal T10. Why the Sid 210, Giant 94 Mike Sierra? There we go! Come on, 210. Initial A28, expect ILS 1A1 and 9R and information Delta. See you later, Jax. Thanks for tuning in. There's the airport. Flat 10. Absolutely beautiful views. Glennis, it's fine, I know how to fly, thank you, mate. We're speeding up at the moment, aren't we? 300 feet per minute climb rate, it's because we're heavy and we're increasing our speed up. Flat five. Lego at cruise, no, cross the pond's too busy for Lego at cruise. Even with the long flight time that we've got. Thank you all so much for tuning in, ladies and gents those of you who are going to be with us here for the majority of the stream today don't forget we've got across the pond um tradition to have a bit of a chewy sing song during cruise which will probably take some people out of the stream but uh, it is tradition so expect that at some point during the afternoon and what beautiful views that we've got on departure here speed's coming up nicely Why have I got 277 there? Interesting. All right, flaps up. My instant reaction when flying a 747 is to um, is to go to bring the landing gear to the off position, but we're in a 748 today, so we obviously don't need to do that. Road go. I use VAT spy for that, mate. Right, after takeoff checklist. Landing gear is up, flaps are up. Land, uh, after takeoff checklist, not landing checklist, not quite yet, is completed. VAT <laughs> spy's down, it's because there's so much traffic. <laughs> Thank you, Johnny. Seems to be all right. Doesn't mind the speed. Yo, Ab, thank you for the six months. Cheers, my dude. Can we please get some love in the chat for Yo, Ab and the six month resub? Cheers, matey. We're looking all right on traffic. Just noticed I have a new badge. Ah, there you go. Reminded me that just six months ago. I subscribe to you in CTP East. Oh, really? Time short flights. Ah, there we go. Thank you, mate. 
Elliot, can you please stop trying to post links? It literally tells you. Giant please ask a moderator. Your, uh, uh, report speed. Oh, yeah, apologies. We're pretty heavy today, so we're 277 indicated at the moment uh, for Giant 9 or 4 mics. Yeah, I can slow down if you prefer. Giant 9 and 4 mics here, and that's okay. Just continue. Roger. Sorry about that. Uh, we've also got Proud Dane with the resuming sub. Thank you very much indeed for the resume sub, Mr. Proud Dane. Welcome back to the crew. He did catch it. <laughs> Thank you very much. Shanka, hello, mate. How are we doing? Right, standard set now then, passing 8-6. No. And we're on our way. Off we go to Vancouver. Zetanis, thank you for the 100-bit cheer. Pizza, beer and chewy flying CTP. Can it get any better than this? Good question. Can it get any better than, <laughs> get any better than that? Thank you, mate. Belgian, hello, how are we doing? Right, tens. And Hortex is continuing their gifted sub from Reach for Rainbows. Hortex, thank you, mate. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Thank you very much. Thank you, bye-bye. Giant 9 4 here. Contact control. 1 2 0 3 7 5 Giant 9 4 Mike Sierra. Goodbye, thank you. 1 2 0 3 7, that was, yeah. No, she's level 80. Uh, he's level 210. Ah, seatbelts are down here. Beautiful views. Absolutely Climbing stunning. Norway, well, good afternoon. Giant 904 Mike Sierra through 107 for 210. Giant 9 of 4 Mike Sierra, Norway. Hello. Romeo Crest, hi. 7478 for Giant 9 of 4 Mike Sierra. What is that speed? <laughs> Giant 9 of 4 Mike Sierra, I'm going to time flight level 360. Let's see what we've got. Can I go max 350? Uh, at the moment, I've got very max of 350. Is that a problem for Giant 9 of 4 Mike Sierra? So, uh, for Mike Sierra, you can uh, stop climbing further with 300 initially. Okay, 300 initially for 9 Mike Sierra, thank you. Okay. <laughs> That's an interesting speed. I'm going flight level change for a moment and I'll sort that out in a moment. Right, 300 is set into there. Uh, let's just go and review. Uh, okay, so it's 360 in there. Uh, maybe we should go for a more conservative number than that. Oh, let's just go 350 for now, shall I? Thank you to Kieran for gifting us up to Jensen. I'm trying to get to Vancouver that much quicker, aren't I? Thank you very much, Kieran, for gifting us up to Jensen. 26 gifted subs. Yeah, I did use a, I did use a cost index of 150. So that may have had something to do with it being so close to the uh, to the edge there. We were technically still safe at 260, but it was just pushing it a bit. So uh, we'll we'll rock and roll and.